The second lesson in the character development unit is on bullying. It took two full periods, 45 minutes each, but that may depend on your class size. We had 14 students. We began the lesson with a reminder that we repeat at the start of every new lesson. We are exploring our own character and what it means to have good character, to be a person of good character. But we are not only talking about good character, we are also practicing the behaviors and expressions of good character. The first session is the most pedagogically didactic of the unit. We begin by discussing two questions. Why do people treat each other badly? And not everything is bullying, how can we tell? These questions were meant to introduce some of the ideas that we would explore. So we didn't dwell on them too much, just got a few thoughts out there. We noted that there is a distinction between rude, mean, and bullying behaviors. Rude is not bullying and mean is not necessarily bullying. The next few slides unpackage that we clicked through the content and had the students take turns reading aloud. And at the end of each slide, we gave them an opportunity to comment or ask a question before we proceeded to the next slide. So I'll let you read through these slides on your own and pause as you need to. Now it was time to apply some of this theory. We clicked through these images one at a time and asked the students to identify the type of bullying. And then we asked them, do any of these images reflect more than one type of bullying? Which ones and what types? And finally, do any reflect cyberbullying? Which ones? I prepared a worksheet for students to record their reflections on these questions. Am I ever rude, mean, or a bully? When and why? Would others think that I'm rude, mean, or a bully? Why? And how does it make me feel to know others might think of me in this way? You can see the same two perspectives that I noted before, self-knowledge and speculation on how others might perceive you. Now, before we gave the students quiet time to address these questions, we reminded them that this is about their own behavior, not the behaviors of others. We also let them know that they won't be asked to share these reflections, but that they may want to refer to them later on in the unit, so the worksheet should be filled in thoroughly and kept in their folder. To end the session, we played this video called Don't Go There. It's a rap by Anthony McLean about restraint and self-regulation regarding the things that we might say that could be hurtful, and kids really love it. We continued lesson two with a review of the class values and school values, something familiar to re-engage the students in the unit. If your class and school or school uh, has rules rather than values, you could discuss the values that underpin those rules. So for example, a rule of using an inside voice is about consideration and respect. Being on time is about accountability and responsibility. We discussed this question, what is the relationship between our class values, our school values and bullying? And the answer was something along the lines of the values are the opposite of bullying. They prevent bullying. 
We probe that a little more, asking, if you behave according to our values and the character traits that we've been talking about, can you be a bully? Is it even possible to be a bully? And the answer is something along the lines of no, because bullying requires using power to intentionally and repeatedly hurt others. And if you behave according to good values and good character traits, respect, compassion, consideration, fairness, integrity, that will prevent you from repeating hurtful behaviors. You might still be mean or rude by mistake or on occasion, maybe you're in a bad mood, but to repeat the behavior over and over again is not consistent with respectful and compassionate character. This activity was done in groups of three to four. Each group prepared a two to three minute skit on a bullying behavior or situation. This is a bit of an invitation for some rowdy and aggressive behavior. So we reminded the class that a group activity is an opportunity to practice good character traits and behaviors like cooperation, collaboration, respect, and consideration. The students had 10 to 15 minutes to prepare a skit on a bullying behavior. Prior to the presentations, we reminded the students of values and behaviors associated with being a good audience member, like listening, engaging, focusing, applauding. After each skit, we discussed three questions. What makes this bullying rather than rudeness or meanness? What type of bullying is it? Physical, verbal, social, cyber? And how can this situation be resolved? When all of the skits had been performed, we discussed this culminating question. How does the nature of the relationship between those involved affect the situation? And we were looking for answers along the lines of close friends and trusted people can get away with saying things that others can't. We asked why that is. We talked about comedians who can often say things in a show that others can't and why that is. But we also acknowledge that this requires a lot of sensitivity and good judgment, and that it's better to be cautious and not say or do something where there is a possibility of someone getting hurt. We referred back to the Anthony McLean rap in session one of this lesson to reinforce that point. And that ends lesson two. Depending on your class size, though, you may need some extra time. See the next video on this playlist for lesson three.